Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jaspies Afternoon. I guess still afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We are doing 2017 Bowman's Best Baseball. Pick your team number one from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Obviously, the next one is next ones are in the store already. Jazbeeshobbyland.com. They're almost full. They're almost full. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action on a Wednesday, new release day. Eight box. Pick your team number one. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Now, at the end of this, we're giving away a transcendent spot. So everyone who bought at least two teams will get one entry into the promo. I don't think there's very many, actually. Oh, what a, what's this? We got a we got a poster with this too. Look at that. All right, good luck, folks. Bowman's best, one of my favorite uh, baseball products of the uh, of the year. Always nice stuff. So let's see what we got here. Good luck, everybody. So here's who we have on the on the cover: Correa, Royce Lewis. Two mini boxes. You can see all the information right there. And we're looking for four autos per master box. So there's usually two per mini. We did a ton of this last year. I should be. We should expect to do a ton this year too. I feel like we could do at least like four or five cases tonight. I could do a lot of this tonight. So there's a lot of good autographs in here. So we should have. A, we should be having a lot of fun with this. There's plenty on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So be sure to check it out. Check out the website, folks. Jaspyshobbyland.com. We just posted a couple uh, fresh cases on the site, too. Ah, oh, I like the, the new design. Looks pretty nice already. do with new releases it's like the first pack I like to go through a little bit slowly one by one so we can get a good look at it you can already see the nice uh, the nice new design this year it's pretty cool nice Corey Seager's how the back looks nice Clint Frazier Graded an A. Is everyone graded an A? They wouldn't add any any Bs or anything like that, right? There's Raphael Devers. I don't think there's gonna be a, a random team break, Connor. Usually the usually the pick your teams sell much more quickly than the random teams, so and with the with the pace at which the Bowman's best has been selling out. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to do random teams anytime soon. All right, Kevin Merrill. All right, Max, yeah, I'll, I'll have someone take a look at your email, man. I know uh, Boss Man just got back into town, so he should be able to... He's catching up with all that stuff. You're not the only one. All right, Manny Machado. Got the, that cracked ice look, which I really like. A's, Kevin Merrill will go to Chris Beck. So 
So I think everyone's going to be graded an A. Raking rookies. It's pretty cool. Just want to make sure I'm not missing any numbered cards here. And Tristan McKenzie for the Indians. That'll go to Chris Parent. Um, I believe all cards do ship in this. At least for... Isn't that what it said? No, it says no vet base ships. But inserts like this will ob obviously ship. Uh, we've got these mirror image cards right here. We'll just randomize these left or right at the end of the break. Unless they're serial number, then they'll be, uh, then they'll be randomized separately. Nice Aaron Judge. And Shane Boz, the Boz. Aaron Judge, too. Nice Jeter. Austin Meadows. He's got to get a... Oh, he gets an A+. Plus. Corey Seager gets an A+. Plus. And, oh, this is a big one right here. Keston Hiruda. He's got a nice autograph, too. Kenley Jansen at the end. We'll slide these over here. All right, so that was a good look at our first box. Yeah, it's it's hard to it's hard to see. Um, if there if there are numbered cards, you know what I mean. It's kind of it's kind of difficult to tell. But our shipping team will kind of go through it and we'll, they'll make sure. That you might, yeah, there should be some. No, that's why I was a little bit. That's why I was a little surprised. There's got to be parallels in at least one box. Uh, numbers are on the bottom left. Yeah, I didn't think I noticed anything unless there's so many bright colors. It's sort of hard to tell what the uh, what the parallels could be. Yeah, I don't think I see them on the back either. That box, I mean, not all the boxes have parallel. Usually they have at least one, I thought, but, you know, it could, it could be different this year. Yeah, my, my assumption is that they'll be pretty, be pretty obvious once we, once we see them. Oh, they're on the back? That's kind of a hassle. None of the autographs were parallels. And just regular. They all show bottom left. Oh, bottom, front, bottom left. Well, we're, we'll about, we're, we're going to find out in just a second. There you go. Paul Harris has a deal for people there.
Oh, there you go. Well, I guess that's what they look like. 9 out of 99, Clark Schmidt. That goes to the Yankees. That'll be for Landon. Look at that. Brendan McKay. That is strong. That's pitching edition of Brendan McKay for the Tampa Bay Rays. That'll be for Boombox, Mark Glassman. What's going on, Jason? Nice. There's a number right there, 120 out of 150. Trey Mancini right up front. Orioles, Joe Robinson. Raking rookies, Andrew Benintendi. Trevor Rogers. For the Marlins, for DMAC, Darren McKenzie. Nice Aaron Judge rookie. Set that aside. Oh, that Keston Hirura, by the way, that went to uh, J Mac. I don't think I said his name. J Mac got that one. That was a nice one. Jeter Downs for the Red Legs. That's nice for Royal for Speed Ryan with that. Two out of 50. Okay, so on the autographs, looks like the, num the numbers are on the back. Nice Austin Beck. Those are nice inserts. Those will ship, of course. There's Michael Kopech. 78 out of 250. That's for the White Sox. That'll go to Mark Glassman. Paven Smith for the Diamondbacks. There you go, Arthur. That's a, that's a top 10 pick, I think. So Arthur's Bowman's best campaign, starting off on a good foot so far. Paven Smith, on-card autograph. And you get this Goldschmidt insert too. All right, next box. All right, hey, no worries, Arthur. Got the nice insert. Paven Smith autograph is pretty strong too. Basically, anybody in the t uh, the draft, top 2017 draft, pretty much anyone in the first round, you know, especially like the top 10, are going to be pretty strong uh, autographs to hit in this set. In fact, I, I think Bowman's best really only features like those high round, high first round draft picks. Yeah, Arthur's easy to please. All he needs to do is, is, get, is get something. It's when he gets absolutely nothing. You know, that's that's the issue. <laughs> All right, here we go. Next one. Nice Cody Bellinger rookie. There's another Kested Hirura. That's pretty strong. Out of 150. That's another one for J Max. So you got the autograph, Justin, and the parallel. Love it. Went to UC Irvine. I think he was born in Southern California too, like near uh, near Magic Mountain. Valencia. 
Evan White for the Mariners. We learned a lot from Bowman Draft. That helped us with this. For the Mariners, Joe Robinson with the Evan White. Nice raking rookies, Aaron Judge. There's Brendan McKay as a pitcher. I think there's some of him as a hitter, too. I don't know which one's more short printed than the other, but. Nate Pearson for the Blue Jays. That'll go out to Rogelio with the Blue Jays. Wow, nice. It's the kind of pitcher, uh, kind of pitcher that the Blue Jays need. And another Cody Bellinger here. Next mini box. There's Kevin Maiton. It almost looked like a parallel, but it was not. There's Lourdes Gurriel, another Blue Jay. It's Ulysses' brother. That goes to uh, Rogelio with the Blue Jays again. Ronald Acuna, or Acuna, will be the big... Uh, be the big name for the Braves next year. Austin Beck out of 250. There you go. Look at Paul Harris spreading some holiday cheer, folks. Give that a look in the chat on the YouTube stream. Nice one for the A's. That'll go to Chris Beck with that parallel. And Roniel Raudis for the Red Sox. Boston Red Sox, that'll go to EA Sports, it's in the game. Love all the on-card autos, of course. All right, solid break so far. I think, I think the next one only has a couple teams left, if not sold out already. T is saying that, that uh, Bowman's best two has two left. Uh, can you tell me, Paul, if you don't mind, what two teams are remaining? That might help sell that out. It's brand new release, so it should, should sell out pretty easily. Uh, Eric, what's going on? Yes, you do have the uh, Orioles. You have the Orioles, Red Sox. Uh, uh, those two, Orioles and Red Sox. I think the... Uh, there's PJ Conlin. I think the Red Sox got pu pulled an autograph just a second ago. And the Orioles have had some parallels. For the Metropolitans, that'll be Armando... Oh, nice. Giancarlo Stan, that's purple. 121 out of 250. Still goes to the Marlins, D-Mac. Of course, with the Yankees now.
And Jeter Downs for the Reds. Ryan with the Reds. That's pretty cool too. I like the I like that cracked ice look that they, they have on that. Yeah, we heard Jeff Rennish. Giants getting Evan Longoria to fill fill their hole at third base. Which I thought was a was a good move. There's Mitchell White for the Dodgers, for my Dodgers. All right, Eric, have fun. I think Christian Royal, right? Someone was telling me it was one of the guys that went the other way in that trade. And there's another Mitchell White. So Dodgers, Nino with uh, starting his uh, Mitchell White PC. See what he's all about. See, there you go. That's what he's all about. Uh, who's Kendall, Gabriel? There's so many prospects I have to keep track of. I can't remember, remember anybody. Oh, is that Jason Kendall's kid? I see. So the Do Dodgers is first rounder. I really should have that 2017 MLB draft list up. We got Alex Fiedo. That was the Tigers first rounder. 18th overall. See, now, now that I have this up, I can give you all this information here. Pitcher out of Florida. 85 out of 99 on that one, Tigers. I'll go to Joe Robinson. Gabe, do you know if they put Hunter Green in this? He was the second overall pick. I know that he was not in Bowman draft, but maybe they put him in Bowman's best. See, there's there's Jake Berg or there's Brandon McKay. That is not Jake Berger. That's on the White Sox. Brandon McKay in the field. There's Drew Ellis for the Diamondbacks. Look at this, Arthur. Not even a duplicate. Another guy for the Snakes. Oh, so Hunter Green is not apparently. There you go. So that's Arthur, that's the Diamond Bags. Diamond Bags retooling their farm system. Mackenzie Gore, that's the third overall pick back in 2017. High school pitcher out of the high school in North Carolina. That goes to the Friars, DMAC, Darren. Nice, that's a good one. So Arthur, the Pavin Smith autograph you had, he was a seventh overall out of Virginia. And I don't know where the other guy was picked. Drew Ellis, right? Was that who got? Yeah, Drew Ellis was 
uh, 44th overall out of Louisville. Dylan Cousins for the Phillies. That'll go to Chris Parent. All right, there we go, next box. A few boxes to go. I think we're making good time on here. The first case is usually a little bit on the slower side as I, we just get kind of used to the configuration and all that. So subsequent breaks should be a little bit more quick than this without losing any of the any of the showmanship of the break. So apparently Optic Football, another brand new release, is down to two. Ad was saying that there are bears and bucks left in Optic. We should be, we should be able to do a couple of those breaks tonight too. Ronald Acuna, that's a great autograph for the Braves, Joe Robinson. That big uh, salary dump that the Braves and the Dodgers did. Uh, big reason for that for the Braves, not only for the salary dump, but to put this guy in center field. So he's, he's all but a starter. Also, did Topps just predict the Giancarlo Stan Aaron Judge deal? Look at that. They're both on this mirror image card. I think Topps orchestrated this move, knowing that they're gonna have, they had this <laughs> in production already. We got Carlos Correa out of 150, 78 out of 150 for the Astros. That'll be for Landon. Nice Brandon McKay. And Nate, Nate Pearson, another Blue Jay. Rogelio doing well with the Blue Jays. I thought I missed something here. No, I didn't. All right, Josh Donaldson. It's a 250. 234 out of 250 for the Blue Jays. Rogelio again. Manny Machado. 54 out of 99. That goes to EA Sports. It's in the game. With the Orioles, the out of 99 Manny Machado. There's only like one or two vet autos per case in a set like this, so that's pretty strong. Those are not very common, especially of a player of that caliber as well. Does he get traded, folks? I think that's going to happen. Angel. Logan Warmoth for the Blue Jays. How's it going, Megan? Yeah, go for it. 
Ask away. There's Blake Rutherford, 32 out of 50, unless it's a question I can't answer. <laughs> Blake Rutherford for the White Sox. Thirty-two out of fifty. Nice gold for the Shy Sox and Mark. All right, two boxes to go, folks. Good luck, everybody. Slot, what's going on? I'm doing well, Slot. Got some new releases here. Breaks are selling out quickly. It's a good. It's going to be a new, good new release day. Rex says he heard it could be possible Machado will go to the Cubs. Pretty sure Rex, who is a big, big Cubs fan, pretty sure Rex thinks that everyone could go to the Cubs. Machado possibly to the Cubs. Bryce, I've heard Rex say Bryce Harper to the Cubs. Uh, all that. Who else? Hugh Darvish to the Cubs. Otani to the Cubs. Mega, a couple of weeks ago, the Porzingis is fine. Oh. Um, I did not run that. I think Nick ran that randomizer. I don't remember. Well, I'll double check on that. Have you emailed us on that, Megan? If not, shoot me an email. I'll 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 look into that. Yeah, the entire Major League Baseball all to the Cubs. Nice Cody Bellinger, Alex Fiedo for the Tigers. That'll go to Joe Robinson. Oh, you did? Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, email me again. I'll take a look at it personally. Sorry about not uh, a response not being sent. Aaron Judge. Jason Groom for the Red Sox. That's a solid one for EA and the Red Sox. So we got the Manny Machado, and he's now got a nice Jason Groom autograph as well. Um, and Megan, what what will probably happen because, I I mean I I think we'll just have to put those twelve people, in, you know we usually do spot randomize uh, like all spots sold or spot randomized or something like that. We'll just have to put those people into the whatever next one we do. I'm sure we'll do another one. Relatively soon. Nice Hank Aaron, thirty six out of fifty. Because I know I'm pretty sure, we didn't do it in the most recent one. Uh, Braves, that'll go to Joe Robinson. Derek Fisher for the Astros. That'll go to Landon. And nice, D.L. Hall. These are the uh, sepia tone ones. 13 out of 150 for the Orioles. EA Sports, it's in the game. Uh, and this, I believe, is the case hit, right? Yeah, Gabriel's saying this is the case hit. 13 out of 150. A place that he never wants to go, the DL. Oh, I'll work on that joke. Clark Schmidt. With the Yankees. I think we started with a Clark Schmidt, right? That goes to Landon and the Bronx Bombers. Nice Bryce Harper. Bradley Zimmer. One box to go. Monochrome is what they call it, right?
Uh, right, Paul T. Good one. Yeah, but he hopes to get to the hall. Not the DL, not the disabled list hall of fame. DL Hall wants to stay off the DL and get into the hall. Orioles would be happy if they if they could develop a uh, a Hall of Fame pitcher out of their farm system. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, those monochromes look pretty sweet. Oh, there's your first overall pick, Royce Lewis. Carlos Correa. That's a nice autograph for the Astros. That's pretty strong. Who has the Strohs in this? That'll go to Landon. Nice one, Landon. That is strong. And Alex Verdugo. Another monochrome for the Dodgers. That goes to Nino. Alex Verdugo or Walker Bueller is supposed to be the next bit, or both, supposed to be the next big thing for the Dodgers. 25 out of 50 this season. He, he may get starts this season. He may have a starting job this season. Mitch Keller. 26 out of 75. Nice. That's the Dean's List autograph. I think these type of insert autos are the only ones with uh, with stickers. I think everything else is on card. But this is a nice one. Pirates quietly building up a, a nice pitching staff, nice young pitching staff. Which may mean, do they get rid of Garrett Cole? That's a possibility. Uh, John Duplantier, Arthur, with three different Diamondbacks in this one. Nice. Nice, Arthur. That's a good break for you. Nice, Reese Hoskins. 29 out of 50 for the Phillies. That goes to Chris Parent. Right, and Baz is going to be good for the Pirates too. So, Seal Curtain, so do they move Garrett Cole? They, they've got a lot coming up the pipeline. There's George Springer at a 250 for the Astros. Another one for Landon. They've got James and Tyon. They've got, oh, well, there's Shane Baz coming up the system too. James and Tyon. Glasnow. There's Dustin Fowler for the Yankees. That'll go to Landon. Landon with the Yankees. There you go, Landon. So you're thinking they move Cole after this season. There's Dansby, 25 out of 99. That's for the Braves. Joe Robinson with that one. And that is that, folks. Quick randomizers to do. We got a promo randomizer. Now we've got to randomize these mirror image cards. So first off, there is this. I think these are uh, one per case. These ones with that crystal cracked ice sort of look in the background. I believe that's only one per case. So we'll do that separately, and then we'll just randomize left and right on this. And then we can, let's see who gets a transcendent spot. So let's, uh, let's get some lists set up. All 
So the first one will be just left and right. The second one will be Cubs Rays. And let's see who gets. So first of all, we're going to alphabetize by your first names. So Chris got two spots. So he'll get an entry into the promo. Derek got three. Eric got one. Joe got a bunch. He probably blocked a lot of people from getting in. J Mac got at least two. Landon got at least two. So did Mark. So did Michael. Rogelio and Ryan. So there you go. There's only 10 names on this list. That's pretty awesome. The name on top will get a transcendent spot, a $155 transcendent spot. Simple as that. Just for buying teams like you usually would on jazbeeshobbyland.com. One dice roll for all the lists. Good luck, everybody. One and a three four times. Left and right first. One, two, three, and four. Left side will get these. So all the, all the uh, mirror images on the left Teams on the left will get this one. The one per case mirror image, Cubs Rays, once again, uh, one and three, four times one, two, three, and four. Stays with the Rays. Uh, that goes to Mark. And the big one here, folks, one and a three, four times for just 10 people. That's really, really good odds. Maximum odds in a, in a baseball break would be 15 entries. Good luck. One, two, three, and fourth and final time. Name on top is Darren McKenzie. Congrats, DMAC. You have a spot in the, uh, in the 158 break, or spot transcendent break. It's 155 bucks. Great value. And I think you got some nice hits in here too. So even better. Congrats to Darren. Thanks very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. It's new release day. So let's go nuts on the website, jazbeeshobbyland.com.